doing your first assignment in SimNet, I'm sorry, not SimNet, but Connect, there's a chapter two is the first one we're going to do, and you're going to click on it. And you're going to open up this window, and it's going to come right about here. I'm waiting for it to load on my slow computer. You're going to go to and click on this section. I've already opened a window and logged in as a student, so that's why I'm here. And this is where it's going to take you. Okay? You'll notice, first off, we click here, and it starts our Learn Smart. That's what LS stands for. But I'm going to show you this interface a little bit. If you come into here, you have your classes and all that other stuff and your insights and your results. Uh, but this is your menu where you're going to go. And then if you're done, you can return back and go back in. But for our Learn Smart activities, I'm going to ask you questions. So what I'm going to do, you can click on the arrow here. You can click on here. I'll just do the arrow because I think that's what they want us to do. And it might take us a second. This is going to come up. It all depends on your Internet speed. And you'll notice here eventually this is your textbook. And here we come. It's loading. It's initializing it. Here we go. And voila. Now, you see down here it says 101 items left. I have questions that I have to answer. So if I read this information, I can find it. It says uh, for a browser to connect uh, to a web page, the address is also called blank, must be specified. Well, which one is it? I don't know. Let's just say I think I know it. If I collect one or I'm not sure, that's why they can kind of feel how you're doing. Well, it looks, if you don't know at all, click right here and it takes you and you can read about it once it loads in the book okay and once you get it correct you'll notice uh, addresses or addresses location addresses okay are called uniform resource URLs so let's go back I'm gonna click URLs I read about it I know it yay I got it okay now if I went back I'm sorry I read on it We'll do on this one. Match, um, I don't know about this one, so I go back. Takes me in. You can even highlight in your book. You can you can actually just read everything and then answer the questions. Um, three types. Okay, there they all are. You notice they're not highlighted or anything. I'm going to go back to the question. It's going to load up my question for me. And I want you to drag it. So C to C is consumer to consumer. Individual selling to individuals. Okay, there we go. Um, B to C is businesses sell to consumers. Business sold to to another business. I agree with that, and I know it. Okay, watch if I go back and read it. You'll see that the text. Watch me be wrong here, but the text should be highlighted if I got it correct. I can even go through here and read everything. And as I'm reading, if there's a question pops up, I can go right into it. But I always like to answer the questions. So if you notice down here, I have 100. I'm going to submit this one. Yay, I got it right. OK, I hit OK. I got 99 left. And I can keep going through this. If I want to, I can go right here to the table of contents, just like the old school days. I can click this you've answered all of the questions relevant to the just read I can read I can go right through the book play around in this this is a fun interface you'll see here I can read it tells me what's going on okay if I want to highlight I can I go oh this is pretty good you know keep going bookmark it note it whatever I want to do and I can go through here and I can read my whole entire book that you paid for okay or you can do the practice questions. You've it's answered all of the questions relevant through where you want to go. If you don't know, you can read it. So there's two ways to do it. It's all reverse engineering. If you want to do it this way, I think sometimes that's the way I do life, is I try to answer questions and go back. Um, if you don't, if you're not sure, like let's say I pick this one, it just wants to know where you are in the learning scale. So we're going to go through before that we watch my lecture and you're going to answer all these questions and the reason you do it is it gives you some basic knowledge before you get into my lecture so I'm gonna go back out so all I have to do you can see how well you did against everybody else but I'm gonna return back into learn smart and I can exit if I wanted to and away we go